Gonna be making a firewall change. Let's get started. What's up guys? This is a pair of 80 gig hard drives and a copy of PFSense 2.1 on top of it. Um, I've decided to try PFSense over my current setup which is using something called Clear OS and uh, I thought I'd make a video about it because that's kind of what we do here on the channel. Uh, I'm going to pull the uh, current firewall out of the rack and I'll get it up on the workbench and uh, then we can talk a little bit about why I'm uh, making the switch. Here's the firewall out of the rack. Uh, I've got a bunch of videos on my channel already detailing uh, the case as well as the build itself. Uh, so I'll leave links in the description so you can check those out uh, to definitely get more uh, and better information about um, the build and what's inside and, and all of that. Um, there are two hard drives here and uh, I've got them set up in RAID 1 uh, just for you know safety sake as well as you know I have a lot of these hard drives sitting around so I just wanted to put them to use. Um, I'm going to be saving these drives. Um, I don't want to lose uh, any of the data that's on there uh, and more so because I'm not 100% sold on sticking with PFSense. Um, I do want to try it out but I do want to maintain these um, old drives in case I have to move back. So I'll take these out and label them and I'll use the, um, the other drives uh, and get those ready and installed. One of the nice things about PFSense is it doesn't require you to have uh, like the latest and greatest hardware uh, to make it run or to get it installed. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, a pair of 80 gig Western Digital hard drives that I had laying around in my stash of uh, old parts. Uh, these are going to work out just fine. Uh, the uh, Clear OS was installed on another pair of 80 gig hard drives that I had laying around and it ran just fine. Uh, PFSense should do the same. Let's talk about why I want to go to PFSense. Uh, really it comes down to uh, two words. Uh, network encryption. Um, I'm looking into a service that was recommended to me by a really talented uh, network engineer who works over at Amazon um, and his recommendation uh, I value very highly. Uh, he's using a service called Private Internet Access. It's a paid service that uh, encrypts your traffic for you and uh, because he's using it I'm gonna use it. Uh, there are other uh, providers and services that you can get out there that are maybe cheaper or free uh, but he uses that, so I'm going to. Now, um, one of the nice things about private internet access is that it has a um, relatively easy setup for compatible firewall so that you can uh, encrypt all of your traffic that goes through that firewall, and PFSense happens to be one of them. So that's what I'm going to use. Now, uh, you have seen uh, a lot of uh, news about uh, network spying and NSA spying and that kind of stuff and that's not really why I'd like to um, encrypt all my data uh, although that's probably a good side effect of doing that um, it's mainly because it seemed as if my network um, or ISP was throttling some of my traffic now um, it's not super scientific but in the limited testing that I did if I encrypt traffic and then not encrypt some traffic uh, I was seeing better performance when the ISP could, you know, couldn't tell what kind of um, traffic was coming in and out. Now, we have a lot of devices here at the home. Having a whole house solution to encrypt all that traffic uh, is going to be pretty neat, I think. I haven't really played around with it all too much. I mean, I could have everything, everything configured and then find out that it just works terribly, and then if that's the case, I'll just go back to um, Clear OS. But I have seen a lot of reviews. PFSense has been around for a while and a lot of people use it and it's um, something that I'm excited to give a try. I've tried doing software installs on my channel before and they never really turn out the way that I want them to. Um, what I'm going to do is link a video in the description below uh, to a YouTube channel called Tech Syndicate. Uh, you've probably heard of them. They're one of the more popular uh, technology channels here on YouTube. Uh, they've got a really good video about setting up PFSense. Uh, so check that out for how to do the install. Uh, I'm going to be doing that installation now uh, off camera and then I have to go through all of the setup and stuff and then I'll have to get this back in the rack to um, uh, test it out. Alright, the install is done and it did take a little bit longer than I expected it to because I ran into some problems here. Uh, these guys were originally set up in RAID 1 and I wanted that so I could have some redundancy between the two drives. Uh, but for whatever reason, uh, the system would continually reboot on itself uh, when trying to install PFSense. And the only way to get beyond that was to take it out of RAID and just install it to a single drive. 
Um, not a big deal. Uh, the install is actually uh, pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So if I do have a problem with this uh, in the future, I can just um, do another installation. So not, uh, not a big problem there. So I need to get this um, put back together and put back in the rack, and then I can wrap this up. Uh, so that I can do the rest of the configuration upstairs at my desk. Now I do get a lot of questions about what my setup is and I am planning on making another video talking about how things are laid out. Uh, I'm going to get this all configured properly and then uh, I'll plan to make a video like that sometime in the future. So definitely check out the description below. You're going to find uh, links to uh, the couple of videos and the couple of things that I talked about earlier in the video as well as uh, everywhere else that I'm at. So follow me there for uh, updates. Uh, like and subscribe because that helps me out a ton and uh, that way I can uh, continue to bring you more videos like this uh, and uh, just make the channel more successful. So uh, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.